Hello everyone. So in this tutorial, we are going to see how we can install Metasploitable 2 in VMware. So just simply go to the browser you want and type Metasploitable 2 download. So the very first link which you are seeing over here is of SourceForge and this is the official website from where you can get the download. Now uh, the download has been started it will take few minutes to download this zip file it's not downloading in iso format it will download in zip file now why it is downloading in zip file the beauty of this is that this particular metasploit able having some inbuilt vmware so here we are not going to uh, make the installation process already every stuff has been done in this we have to simply extract this file and then we can copy it directly to on vmware so not only this will save our time very first thing second thing uh, it requires a very minimal storage of your system also because it's the least uh, uh, MB size, you can see it's 825 MB size, not even it's 1 gigabyte. So just wait till uh, Metasploitable is downloading. Now, as you can see, uh, the download has successfully completed. So let's see what is there in this folder. Now it's saying me to extract this particular folder. So now I am extracting this folder you can choose the location you want i am keeping it in the download itself so once the extract the file will be extracted there is some inbuilt requirements which help you to install this metasploitable 2 very easily on your vmware so that's the reason uh, you are uh, we are using this metasploitable 2 on vmware so just wait till it's getting extract now your file has successfully extracted so in this metasploitable 2 if you are able to see there is already virtual disk has been created and already uh, you can say metasploit able vmware for virtual machine also it has been created so no need to create uh, the virtual machine or no need to create the disk storage which every time when we are uh, installing any iso we have to do that so as you can see that is a vmware virtual machine already configured and vmware virtual disk has been also already configured now our main task is to just simply go and search for your vmware now i have this vmware just open it and you are on the home page now simply just instead of creating a virtual machine go for open a virtual machine now if you are able to see i have metasploitable 2 this is what we want just simply choose metasploitable and you will be getting with the extension that what kind of extension you needed just simply click open so you can see that metasploitable 2 has been successfully created on your virtual machine or you can say on your vmware now what i need to do is simply play virtual machine now over here a pop-up is appeared or you can say a prompt has been appeared which is saying this virtual machine might have been moved or copied if you don't know answer i copied it so simply you have to choose for i copied it because uh, you are not going to do any kind of configuration as i have said earlier everything has been done already so it will take few minutes to get you to the login page and metasploitable 2 is not 
any kind of graphical interface is totally the terminal or shell based you can also say that it's a cli based uh, vulnerable or you can say the weak configuration uh, setup made for the practice for, uh, as a pen tester ethical hacker so that's the reason there is no graphical interface over here and it's 100% vulnerable made for your practice purpose so it's downloading or you can say it's mounting the scripts everything to get to the login page so we have to wait for a while okay so we are done with that and by default we have the login id and password is msf admin msf admin so simply type the login person name that is msf admin and the password is also msf admin so now you are on the exact terminal that is of msf admin metasploitable now you are not the root user you are a normal user uh, why i am saying you are normal user because the dollar prompt itself says that the person is normal user now if you want to see whether it's working or not you can go for checking the very first thing is that your ip address second thing uh, you can go for that you can check any file present or not that so there is a vulnerable file or you can say a directory so you can change the directory to vulnerable and again you can check for certain commands what are all the stuffs present over there and also you can um, check in which uh, directory you are right now so yeah you are right now in home msf admin vulnerable and all other commands you can check and for simply log out you can go for exit so this is where your installation and download of metasploitable 2 has been successfully done so thank you so much